Hello everyone and welcome you all to another chapter of the MS Word Advanced Tutorial. So now we are on our chapter number two where we'll be understanding macros in MS Word. Okay, so macros are a set of commands which we set up by ourselves and it's quite efficient to use once we save that particular uh, command and then apply it the places wherever it's necessary. Okay, so we'll be learning about how you can actually record a macro, how you'll be able to view that, how you'll be able to name those things out. Okay, I'll be showing you guys here in this particular chapter. So let's not waste time and let's get started so here as you guys can see now i'm here in the home page of the ms word so from here first off i will be creating up a blank document okay so suppose uh if you want to view your macro option okay you will come here onto the view option and here on the right hand side just beside the switch windows option i do have my macros option over here okay so there are two things like if you want to view macros if you want to record the macro or if you want to stop or pause the recording for a while so basically from here you will be able to record a macro so let me guys under uh, make you guys understand that why you will use a macro right over here okay so the first thing is suppose you do have to write a letter okay then each and every time with the shortcut key you guys will be able to get those command over here and you guys will be able to write a uh, those things down okay so suppose you do have to uh, make a set okay so in that case what i'll do is i will come over here okay and now i will just make up a template okay so before that what i will do is i will come here and i will click on record macro okay so once i click on this record macro option okay so what i will do is i will just name this as class project format okay so i will just write this class project format over here and now i will select the keyboard option uh right over here okay so i will just click on this one come to macros again i go to record macro so let me just save this one as a uh, this particular thing and let's come to this particular option and now from here i will need to select a new shortcut key okay so what shortcut key do i want to set so maybe i will select Control shift plus c okay so here you can see now once i have clicked on that here you can see now i do have the Control plus shift plus c over here okay so in that case now what i'll do is i will just click on assign okay and after that i will just close this thing down okay so once i've closed this thing here on my mouse you guys can see there is a icon here on my mouse okay so now what i will do is i will start typing okay so i will just write a description and i will just use a colon over here okay and i'll just come down okay and here what i'm going to do is i will just write step okay so i will just tap one and again i'll come down and i will write step two and i'll come down over here again i will write a uh, step three and maybe i'll just write till step five okay step five or step four over here okay step four come down right uh step five and then come down here again and just write outcome okay so i will just write outcome over here and what i'm going to do is i am going to use colon again and now again i will come down over here and now what i'll do is once i'm done with this particular format it can be any format okay so i'm just showing you guys over here that's why i have just got this format okay so in this case if you want to select all this 
and now if you want to increase its size go to home page option and from here basically you guys will be able to increase its size here as well so once i've increased the size over here okay and everything else uh, like the spacing and stuff is fine okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to come here again onto my view option and from the view option what i'll do is i will just click on stop recording option okay so here you guys can see now i have stopped recording this thing okay so now uh, if i come to this option and what i do is i will just uh, click or i will just delete this one okay so i will just use ctrl z okay i'll select all this and i will just click on my delete button so here you guys can see now it's being deleted okay so you guys remember once i was applying that macros over here okay i do have set a shortcut key to get that particular file again here okay so the shortcut key was ctrl shift plus c okay so now if i click on ctrl shift and c here you guys can see that i do have that particular uh thing right over here again okay so if i just come down over here ctrl shift c so here you guys can see as many times i will click on that button i will have that same document again and again over here okay so you guys can just come down okay so you guys can just delete it again over here so this is how i have used the macro and if i go to view macros here you guys can see i do have uh, this particular macro which is right over here okay so now again i will come back okay i will show you guys another usage of this okay so now what i'm going to do is i am going to write some items name okay so uh what i'll do is i will write cakes cokes then i will write pastries pastries then i'll come down and i will write buns then i'll write bagels then i'll come down here and i will write coffee and i will write tea okay so here you guys can basically see that now i do have all these things right over here so in that case what i want to do is i just want to uh, put on some of the things uh, right here in front okay or in back like suppose if i do want all these things here inside a bracket in that case i do have what i have to do is i have to come here and manually do that suppose if i come here and again with my mouse i need to come over here and put on brackets and suppose if i do have a list of 30 40 or more than 100 in that case it's quite hectic to work like that okay so in that case what i will do is i will just use my macro over here okay so how to do that so again the same way you need to come to the macros and from macros you need to click on record macro okay so this is my macro number two okay so now in that case if i come here and suppose i will uh, set the macro name as bracket okay so bracket over here and what i'm going to do is i am going to select the keyboard option and from here i need to select a shortcut key okay so in that case what i'll do is i'll just click on ctrl shift and b and make sure that you uh, remember what shortcut keys are you putting on for your macros okay so in that case once you have put this one okay so now you just click on this assign button okay so here i have assigned this one and now i will close this thing down and here as you guys can see now i do have my mouse over here okay so in that case if you are not able to get your mouse at the beginning over here you guys can come here and just click on the home button from your keyboard okay so now what you're going to do is you need to uh, make a bracket first over here 
okay so i will just create a bracket right over here if i do want to give a space over here i will be able to give that then if i want to go back again to the last okay so what i'll do is i will just use my keyboard to do that okay so i do have the right button so i'll come here on the right hand side maybe I, if i just want to give this a space i will give up a space and i will just close down the bracket from here okay so once i'm done what i'm going to do is i will go on to the macros option and from here i can just stop recording otherwise if i want to add more things let's say i will come here and i will add three more full stops after that okay so i have added three full stops over here and what i'm going to do is i am going to stop recording my macro right over here okay so now i have stopped recording the macro and now if i want to put the same things which i have do here i need to just click on my shortcut key for the macro which was Control shift and b okay so here you guys can see i do have the Control shift plus b over here and the same way Control shift b okay otherwise i'll just go back go back again okay so here you guys can see this is the way how you guys will be able to uh do these things up Control shift plus b okay so this is how you guys will be able to put up your marks over here okay so let's try uh this one okay you guys can come over onto this point and now i will just go back again so this is how you guys will be able to put on all the things right over here whatever command you basically give it will just come here and it will put those things accordingly okay so here while applying okay there was a bit of a problem okay so the problem was once i have recorded the macro okay so suppose i will just write uh run okay so i will write run away over here and now i want to put on some macros okay so in that case what i'll do is i will come here onto the uh, view macros option okay and now i will come here and what i'll do is i will just record a macro go to the keyboard shortcut and i'll just use Control shift plus a okay and i will assign this one and i'll close this thing down okay and now again i will just give up the bracket okay come over here and give up a bracket and use these dots okay so now again i will come here onto the macros and i will just stop recording suppose i come here and i'll just write random okay so if i just come right here uh random and if i just bring my spacebar right over here or my um, thing which is the type tool okay Control shift and a okay so here you guys can see how it actually uh works right over here so here you guys can have a lot of brackets over here okay otherwise uh to end this thing up you guys can come here and give up different things okay so if you want like how many ever word it is okay in that case if you want your letter to be inside so in that case you need to come here uh control z again okay so let's come over here and now suppose i will come here in the view macros option and what i'm going to do is i am going to delete up this macro okay so let's uh delete these things here as well okay and i'll delete this last one over here as well okay so now for now let's close this down okay so let's come here and let's write a cake then come down write coke then come down write chocolates and let's come down over here and let's write balloons okay so i will just write balloons over here and now what i'm going to do is i am going to come up over here in the record macro option go to the keyboard option and let's set Control shift plus b okay and now assign this one over here close this thing down and what i'm going to do is i am going to go to the home button 
from here okay so let's uh go to the home button from here okay suppose i will just come on to this one okay and from here i will just add up a bracket okay so let's add a bracket and now again what i'll do is i will just uh go to the end okay using my end button and now i will leave another bracket over here okay and now onto the macros what i'm going to do is i am going to stop recording okay so let's come here and let's see okay so here you guys can see i have added this one Control shift b again okay so here this is how you guys will be able to put on your commands okay so make sure that when you are doing instead of using the right or the left hand button you use the end and the home button from your keyboard okay so these are a few of the commands which you guys can use okay if i'm not if it's more than five words suppose the place where you put command they had four words but the word you are working with they do have a 10 12 words in that case okay or letters so in that case you guys will be able to put the same command as well okay so i hope you guys have understood this class and hope to see you all in the next chapter i hope you guys have understood macros so the same way you guys will be able to use or you guys will be able to get your commands according to yourself okay you guys can use it in a lot of place for a lot of commands and make sure that macro will be recording each and every movement what you're making on your page whatever changes you're making it will record that and once you put on that particular command it will just paste those things right over here okay and if you want to view your macros you guys can come here and you guys can just view your macros from here if you want to run that into okay you guys can also run it from here okay if you want to edit from here okay you guys will also be able to edit down your macros right from here okay so here you guys can see you do have some codings you guys can also do the coding okay so basically from here if you want to make any changes suppose i want to change the text type from here so let's give this a open bracket over here and this side i will come and i want to give up a close bracket so now i will come here and if i just uh go back go back again okay so now what i'm going to do is i will come here and now i will just click on the view macros option okay and i just want to run it okay so here you guys can see this is run over here so now again if i come and if i click on a control uh, shift plus b or control shift a okay so here you guys can see the changes right over here okay or if you want to view your things view your macros and if you want to edit this okay you guys will be able to edit it from here as well okay so i'll just close this thing down go on to your macros go to view macros okay if you want to uh delete it okay you can delete it here as well if you want to uh create a new one you guys will also be able to replace it with the existing macro okay so you guys will be able to do that from here as well so i'll go to the view macros option and i'll delete all the macros available over here okay and close this down so i hope you guys have understood the usage of macro how you'll be able to use it here in your particular file so hope to see you all in the next class till then take care and goodbye everyone hello everyone and welcome you all to another chapter of the ms word advanced tutorial so now we are on our chapter number three and here i'll be showing you how you can restrict editing and also secure your file with password okay so we'll be learning about all of that here in this particular chapter so let's not waste time and let's get started so here as you guys can see now i am here in the home page of the ms word okay so now the first thing what i'm going to do over here is i am going to create or open up a document okay so i'll come to this pc or i'll just browse that file up go to uh, my resource file 
okay go to desktop go to the advanced resource file and take this file from here okay and just open up this document and i'll just enable editing here in this particular document okay so suppose you want to save this particular file into your system and what you're going to do is you are going to actually work with this particular file and now you are going to save this thing up and you will also want to put some other things like password or you want to restrict okay in that case if you want to restrict this particular file what you can do is you can come here onto the view option or you can come to this particular review option okay so from the review option here you guys can see i do have few options right over here okay so if i click onto this restrict editing options so here you guys can see i do have uh, different uh, options right over here as well suppose if you do want to limit formatting to a selection of style what you guys can do is you guys can come here and uh, check out these points okay so i'll be telling you guys how you can actually restrict editing before that let's come here and let's try to see if you want to put up a password in that case how you will be able to do that okay so suppose to this particular file what i want to do is i just want to restrict the viewers or i want to secure this file with a particular password okay so in that case simply i just need to go on to the file option and once you're in the file option here you can see i do have the info option so i'll just click on the info option and from the info option what i will do is i will just come right over here so here you guys can see there is another thing which is called the protect document okay so here you guys can see once i just click on this particular icon which is there a drop down icon over here okay you guys can do a lot of things right over here okay so here you guys can also restrict editing which we were looking at but the second option you guys will choose which is encrypt with password okay so come here and click on this one and you will have a pop-up window kind of like this so basically from here you guys can put up that particular thing okay whatever password you do want to put you guys can come here and once you are done you guys can click on okay so they'll ask you to re-enter the password to confirm the password over here so again what i'll do is i'll click on this one okay and i have just saved up the password and now the last thing what i'm going to do is i am going to click on ok and make sure that you remember that password or you just write it down somewhere otherwise you will lose this particular file all in all okay so i can just click on ok and once i'm done over here okay i will again come here back okay i need to make sure that what i do is i will just save up this file okay make sure you just click on to the save up option over here or just click on Control s from your file otherwise what you can do is you can also come here in the file option and can save the file right over here okay so this is how you guys will be able to encrypt this one so now if i come here and let's come to uh, this file option again let's go to my advanced resource file now if i try to open up this file okay so here now i am not able to see anything right over here because they're asking me a password to open up this particular file okay so in that case again what i'll do is i will just put on the password okay a b c see over here and now i will just click on ok and now here you guys can see again i'm back here at the editing page and my word document is saved over here okay so suppose uh, there is a file you have already put on password and now what you want to do is you just want to change it okay otherwise instead of changing you don't want the password again in that case you guys can come here onto the file option again go to the info page from the info page come here drag and drop over here go to encrypt file and from here you can just uh, delete this 
all in total and just click on OK. So now again, come here and now you guys can click on to the same option. Otherwise, control S from your keyboard. Now, when I close this down and let's try to open this file up again. So here now they're not asking me any kind of password over here to open up this file. OK. So this is how, how you will be able to put on a password into your document to save that file. Okay. Suppose there are different scenarios like in your company. Sometimes what you want to do is you are sending a particular set of files uh, in a soft copy to another company for verification or in uh, those cases. Okay. Sometimes it might be some deals and all. Okay. It's an agreement between you guys. Okay. In that case, what you want to do is you don't want them to actually change anything in your Word document. Okay. So, that place, this particular option, restrict editing, comes into play. Okay. So, here if I click onto the restrict editing format, so here you guys can see I do have basically uh, two options right over here, which we'll be uh, working on. Okay. So, here you guys can basically select limit formatting to a selection of styles okay so once you click on this option here you guys can see you have clicked on this option and now if you come to setting you guys can check okay basically from here now you guys can actually see and once you're done you can click on okay and you guys can click on yes over here okay and now suppose you don't uh, want this formatting restrictions in that case uh, once you're done with that you can click on the last option which is yes start enforcing protection okay so here once you click on this here they'll be asking you for password okay so if you want to put some password so let me just put password over here okay and again to reconfirm they are going to ask you for that password again okay so once you give that password over here and if you just click on okay so here you guys can see now i do have uh, the restrict editing mode okay so now if i uh, come here and now if i try to uh, change its formatting option i will be able to do that from here okay so here you guys can see this document is protected from unintentional editing you may freely edit in this region you may format text only with a certain styles okay so from here you guys will be able to see what are the available format which you guys will be able to use okay so only this kind of styles only you guys will be able to use okay then more than that right at this point you guys will be able to use that one okay so now if you want to close this thing down again come to this protection give up the password okay and after giving up the password you guys can click on okay so now here you guys can see i do have all these options right here as well okay so i will just uh, turn this off and now what i want to do is i want to put on some editing restrictions okay so here if i just click allow only this type of editing in this document okay so if i want to uh, do no changes only if i want to put it in read only mode okay so once i have clicked on this one and uh, i'll just click on exceptional uh, select parts of the document and choose users who are allowed to freely edit them okay so now i will not put any exceptions over here okay so now i will start enforcing so again i will just put on the password right over here okay so i will just put on my password again and now i will just click on okay so now here you guys can see that if i try to do anything right over here suppose if i'm trying to write this thing down or if i'm trying to delete whatever i do have over here here you guys can see i am trying to delete or if i just come here in the home page here you guys can see all these tools which i do have for editing right over here all those are disabled okay so here you guys can see your permission this document is protected from unintentional editing you may only view this region 
okay so here you guys can see i will only be able to view otherwise once i share this particular file through email or anything they will only be able to view this particular file okay but not edit it anyway okay so just for viewing they will be able to view this file but they won't be able to put on or make any kind of editing right over here okay so if you come here and uh, if you want to stop this protection what you can do is if you share that password with them then only they will be able to open up this particular file okay so if you just click on okay so right now as you guys can see now i do have the option from here okay if i on both of this the same way okay and there is another option like uh, select parts of the document and choose users who are allowed to freely edit them okay so here if you just choose a particular group of people okay so they will be able to do that and if you want to remove all editing permission from this user okay you can actually remove all editing permissions from this user as well like whoever is opening the file which you share so they would be able to edit at all okay if you do want some people to edit this thing you guys can find find next region in this user can edit show all regions this user can edit okay so there are different options which you guys can come up over here but for now i won't uh restrict editing over here okay so this is how you guys will be able to open up any uh, file and also restrict editing to secure your file from any unnecessary tampering so yeah i hope you guys have understood this class as well like how we'll be able to use password if you do want that password how we will be able to actually put off the password and also we have learned about this option which is the restrict editing option we have learned about that as well so see you all in the next chapter till then take care and goodbye everyone